All right, guys. So in this lesson, I'm going to teach you guys about formulas that you guys should know. And these are all algebraic formulas. So you guys should probably remember them as they could help you sometimes. So the first one we have is x plus y times x plus y, right? This is all about distributing. And if you distribute this x plus y times x plus y, it's going to be equal to x squared plus 2xy plus y squared, right? So that's probably the simplest one. And next we have the difference of squares. So we have x plus y times x minus y, which is equal to x squared minus y squared. And next we have x minus y squared or x times y, x minus y times x minus y, which is equal to x squared minus 2xy plus y squared. So don't confuse these two right here because this one has a negative sign and this one has a positive sign, right? Negative, positive. So all you guys have to remember is that this right here is going to be negative. And this one right here is going to be positive, while both of the x squares are and y squares are going to be positive, right? So they always stay the same, but these two change. This right here and this right here changes. And next we have the cubes. So x plus y times x squared minus xy plus y squared is equal to x to the third plus y third, y to the third. So don't confuse this with this because these two are not the same thing. So don't think you could distribute this even further, okay? Because it's only this, not this, okay? And next we have the difference of cubes. So instead of having an addition sign right here, right? Addition, you have a subtraction sign. So it means this x minus y is going to be a subtraction sign times x squared plus xy plus y squared. So what's the difference? The sign right here is the difference and the sign right here is also the difference. So guys, remember that? So x minus y is x cubed minus y cubed. x plus y is x cubed plus y cubed. So remember these and don't confuse all of them because they might look a little confusing at first, but if you guys understand, it's not that confusing. So how do we apply this? Usually the SAT does not test you on this, but an example, it could be like this. Sometimes the SAT subject test tests you on this, so it might be better to know this, or maybe you're in your algebra class and your teacher asks you about these formulas. So you guys should be prepared for this. So how are we gonna do 39 squared minus 22 squared? You guys could just multiply out and subtract there, right? But an easier way is to know the difference of squares. So the, what does this look like? It looks like x squared minus y squared, right? Where x is equal to 39 and y is equal to 22, right? So that's what it is. And what is x squared minus y squared? It's equal to x plus y times x minus y. So what is x plus y? It's equal to 39 plus 22. Oh, sorry, I wrote that wrong. 39 plus 22 times 39 minus 22, which is equal to 51 times 17. Although this doesn't look easier, right? It is a better way of doing this because sometimes the numbers might be smaller and you guys don't have to multiply out. But in this case, you're going to have to do the long way. That's 35, 7, 1, 5, giving us an answer of 867. So that's one way to do this question, right? But you could do the other way, which is just multiplying out and subtracting. So next we have this right here, 42 to the third power minus 17 cubed. Right, cubed and to the third power are the same thing. So what is the equation for cubed? As you guys can see here, it's x minus y, x minus y, right, times x squared plus xy plus y squared is equal to x cubed minus y cubed. In this case, what is x? x is going to be equal to 42. And what is y? y is going to, to be equal to 17. So let's do this, right? So what's 42 minus 17? 42 minus 17 multiplied by 42 squared plus 42 times 17 plus 17 squared. So this is going to be, to be how you guys do this. So that's equal to 25 times what's 42 squared plus what's 42 times 17? 14, 29, 2, 4, that's going to be good. 614 plus 614 plus 17 squared is 289 
and you guys could do the math from here. So basically, in short, what is this? I'm going to do the math, so bear with me as I do a lot of multiplication. That's 84. 8, 16, that's 1764 plus 614. What's 614 plus 289? That's equal to 308. 803, giving us 2567. Two, so that's equal to 25 times 2567. So what's that equal to? 35, 3, 28, 12, 14, 13, 11. Four. No, that's to get the five. So our final answer is going to be five, seven, one, four, six. So that is going to be our final answer. I mean, you guys could have just done this, but I feel like as if this method is easier. So these are two ways to do divisions. I mean, to do subtractions or additions of roots. So I'll let you guys look at this again. Right, and these are the formulas you guys need to know. So remember this formula and this formula, this formula, this formula, and finally this formula. So remember these, and thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next video of Algebra.